November, the season of Thanksgiving, is a wonderful time to pause, reflect, and give gratitude. Conventional wisdom teaches that what we give comes back to us. In the East Indian tradition, there's the idea of karma. Karma means act or deed. And we know that according to this Indian belief that what we sow um, comes back to us. If we sow good, then goodness comes back to us. If we sow evil, then evil comes back to us. In the Christian tradition, there's the whole notion that comes from the prayer of St. Francis that it's in giving that we receive. Science has confirmed this ancient wisdom. In a book by Alan Lux, The Healing Power of Doing Good, the helper's high is described. After volunteering or giving back, even in fairly modest ways, people feel stronger, more energetic, and motivated. There's also power in collective action. Across the nation, many organizations participate in the Give to the Max Day. Harnessing the power of technology and social media, people are encouraged to click, contribute, and change your world. Thousands of schools and nonprofits, including the Center for Spirituality and Healing, have benefited from this annual appeal that invites people to invest in what they believe in. It's clear from the success of this strategy that people also enjoy being part of a movement that makes a difference in people's lives and the communities in which they live. In this season of Thanksgiving, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Center for Spirituality and Healing, I want to thank you for supporting our work in advancing well-being and integrative health and healing.